So the more things I put in my hole, the bigger my hole gets. And it looks like we don't have to discriminate, we can put anything in there. I feel like I've been doing this a lot lately, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but we're just gonna keep on going to the world is in our hole. He's trying to get away, we're gonna go ahead and tip him for a second, and eat a bunch of more stuff before he gets too far. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't get to get away. Don't you worry, it'll all be over soon. Get in my hole. There he goes, and we committed a murder. Now we're in the desert, so we get to put desert things in our hole, and if we're careful we can get things like that, because they're nice and long. This is a very good video for out of context. You don't get very long. Very long. 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 In our hole. Very, 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 very long. With that in mind, we're gonna knock the cup off, because we gotta get, no, don't get that too far. We need the cup inside. We also gotta try and tip that thing out, maybe? Or pour it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have done it the other way, but I got it. Now, if we tip that maybe one side or the other, that goes in the hole, and we give that a shake, and that goes in the hole. Okay, we have some people here that are targets for putting in our hole. They both look elderly, so it should be easy. They will soon be inside of us. Oh, we managed to open a fence, too. They're watching. Yeah, you better run. So we'll go ahead and take that. Can we trip the old guy? Nope, we can close the gate, though. It's kind of like Goose Game, but instead of annoying people moderately, we're straight up murdering them by putting them in our hole. And I've been known to create a good murder hole now and again. What are these? Okay, they're separate. So if we can get them to tip to one side, yep, we can get all that in there. That's good. And you, get in the hole. <laughs> there he goes. And the person in the window doesn't even care. They just sit there and watch. Yeah, you're next. Don't you worry, it's coming for you. It's coming for all of us. That all goes in. Cool physics. And the more it goes, the bigger it gets. Pretty soon whole mountains are going in. It's a rather simple concept, but it's rather satisfying. Can we get a whole chair in there? Yeah, we put a chair in our hole. What about a stove thing? Definitely all of that. And we're going to tip it in. Trying not... Sorry, I'm breaking your stuff. But, um, I'm not really. A hole's mortal enemy. A hot air balloon. Uh, that's probably too big to get in the hole. So we'll take your moped thing. Get in there, brick, and your sign. Physically, I'm not entirely sure this makes sense, but it doesn't have to. There we go. We're going to burn your thing alive. We're going to have cooked mouse or whatever it is you are. Or that's maybe going to break and you're going to get away. Oh, we get to go bigger now. Can I get that? What do I get? Pieces of this? I don't know how I'm going to get a person on a hot air balloon, but we'll figure that out eventually. So there we go. We get the pool. We're getting bigger and bigger stuff. Fence pieces? Fence pieces. And big donut pieces next too. If we get those the right way. Yep. Those will go in. Little bigger getting. What am I supposed to put in my hole now? Oh, mountains. Yeah, I knew we were going to have mountains soon. That makes sense. That one, this one, if it's sideways, maybe. We could probably do the hanger thing now if we get it uh, to tip in. Yep, got it. And this one. And uh, this is a great delivery. We're just sending them to their uh, death. They just fall forever until they starve to death. Or they start a club. Uh, they fall 10,000 feet and somehow survive. Or this is the afterlife. It doesn't really matter. I just want to go back to putting stuff in my hole. Their ranger station. Oh, we got to be careful. Well, there's a snake though. Snake, get in there. The snakes, uh, yeah, kind of shake around. They're a little bit hard to get because they fight back. I don't know what this person's on the lookout for. They're just kind of uh, shining a spotlight around the desert. They're probably wondering where the snakes are going. But also probably not because there's snakes in the desert. Of course, they're going to go into holes and stuff. Can I make his tower fall yet? I want to tip him down then suck him up. It'd be better to make him fall into rattlesnakes, but we don't really have that luxury. We can go in the rattlesnake hole though. That won't be long. There's like 60 rattlesnakes down there already. Get, get in there. And then what's next? Snake danger. Oh, a chicken. I definitely will put that chicken down. You know everything here is going to get in there eventually. Okay, what's left? This little guy. There we go. <laughs> Nothing to see here. And we've alerted the guards. So yeah, that's happening now. And he's on his walkie-talkie to the big bird in the sky. Uh, This one didn't seem to go down all the way. So what do we do about that? Do we touch the buttons? Is that what it is? Touch the buttons. Oh yeah, we can touch the buttons. Oh, there we go. The chicken fell off. Oh, which puts snake changer up to full. Can we just club the chickens to death then? This is kind of fun in itself. We'll just wiggle this around or something happens. Oh, we probably got to knock him off the thing. Yeah, we can just wind it around and around and... Uh, oh yeah, it's unscrewing. Snake dangerous through the roof. And the snake dangerous time was actually full of snakes itself. So we'll put some chickens and snakes down the hole and they can have a fun little party down there together. The hole is getting awfully big. We're already starting to take down big rocks of those things it will take that whole thing and the tower itself get in there enjoy your stay in the afterlife down below i'd say i was going to miss you but i really won't i'd rather just not see you at all anymore move on to putting more things in oh this is going to be fun there's a dog rolling around with the fish i still want level so big where we start putting like the entire universe in there but we'll have to work our way up the dog went for a crash the fish flip around so they're going to be a little bit hard especially the bigger ones but once you get them lined up they're shaped like a missile which goes nicely straight into the hole also this little uh i think it's a pug Get in the hole. Get in there. Come on, we'll give you a little wiggle. It's a little hard to get in there. Oh, he hops. 
Okay, you know what? Let's eat this stuff first so we'll get a bigger hole. Then it's going to be easier. There you go. No more resistance. Uh, are you missing a dog? Because I uh, know where it went. Can we tip this thing? Oh, we can. Yeah, give me the coffee cup. Can I like lure this over? Oh, I can move it. Yeah, let's drown it. Put it in the river. There we, <laughs> there we go. You're better off that way. Then we'll take some wood. Wood planks. Okay, come on. Oh, we don't want to lose it in the water. We're never going to find it again. Oh, it floats. Wait, what? We filled our hole with water. Now what do we do? Oh, okay, the bird will drink it. Okay, we got to be careful of water. Uh, at least if we get water filled, we go back to the bird. But for now, we'll just take everything else. Uh, not the bird itself, though, because the bird is on our side for now. And we filled with water again. But that might actually, yeah, that actually drains the water out of the holes, too. So we can go like that, and then we can slowly get the other stuff. So now we can do the brick, the fish from the water, the log, the doghouse. At least a dog down below is going to have somewhere to stay. And then the whole trailer got it and the bird very helpful but i need to kill you thought i did okay drink the water i assume there's some fish somewhere that are about to come out of there and one last fish for one big hungry hole and then the bird itself i'm just as confused as you are as to what the story of this is all i know is i'm a hole and i'm putting things inside of me there's some rhyme or reason to it all like there's a coyote here why they're here i don't know why we're putting them inside of us i also don't know we're just gonna keep going i was really good at that game when i was little where you put the different shapes into the different holes and this is exactly what i was training for and the coin's gonna fall off there. Corn in the hole. But now what do we take? We big enough for the fire? Yeah, we took the whole fire. He's very confused, very concerned. You think a tent's gonna keep you safe? I'm a bottomless pit of suffering. Bird, get in there. Well, we got popcorn coming out. Oh, I get it, because he put all the corn down. Now we made popcorn, so the birds are going with us too. Don't worry, you've got wings. You can probably fly back out eventually. Then we'll take the whole corn stand. That's gotta be hot. Get in there. And timber, get in there. There you go. Uh, and then there's another one in another tent. We'll take everything. Fence pieces, fence pieces, <laughs> mountains, cactuses, all the works. Get in there. We're a very big, very powerful hole. Another great delivery. I don't know why we're ranking up or what that means, but I'm happy to try and make some progress. Uh, I think these people live in a pineapple. It's also very bright for 2.37 a.m. But we probably shouldn't read too far into the logic of this game because so far I'm not sure it's entirely accurate. I'm not entirely sure this is a real scene in reality. But this is perfect. It's going to be just in time for Easter. There's rabbits hopping around everywhere. And okay, we've coaxed this rabbit down because he wanted to eat that thing. Yeah, keep eating it because I've got to unplug my hole. Maybe give it to this rabbit. Okay, now I've done it. I've got my hole stuck and I don't really know how to get this thing out of it. Oh, that rabbit might be able to jump out off the carrot or something. Oh no, I've got to lure it this way. I get it. Come on, stupid, this way. You've just got a gate. You've got to gently push open. It's asking a lot, but I think you can do it. There we go. And then you come up the little ramp. Wow, what security here? Okay, and as a reward, you get murdered. Get in my hole. Happy Easter. See you in hell. Oh, they're not having a bad time down there. Well, they are rabbits after all, so what are we going to do about that? We're going to put more stuff down. This will snuff them out. We're going to suffocate them now. We're going to drop fences and boulders on them. I didn't even see the other rabbits up top. Okay, well, you know what? You guys don't really get a choice. Just get in there. <laughs> all the way down. Nothing's going to stop them. That's what Easter's really all about. And this big old rock, get in there. Okay, can we get just one of you this time? Haha, <laughs> there you go. No love for you. But also get in there. There's going to be like a billion rabbits down there by now. Yep, they're coming back out. They made so many, they're getting rejected. We're just going to put them right back in there. And I'm not sure what's happening anymore. I haven't really been sure what's happening from the beginning, but we're just rolling with it. Just a normal day in paradise. Left click to deploy hole. The bird with the popcorn came back. I don't know how he survived. He must have escaped. We gotta work on security measures. Every good hole starts with swallowing some stones. This thing is probably just a touch too big. We might have to knock over the picnic table. We cannot do that. Couple more stones it is. Very creative. Oh, the bird also flicks stuff at me. Thank you. Yes, I was thinking I needed more coal inside me. Well, that's probably big enough to eat some of these. Yep, sure is. Then we can move on to even bigger stuff like the fire. Picnic table, we still can't. The chair probably though. And we might also be able to knock over this guy now. Yeah, there we go. A little earthquake for him. I want him to suffer as much as possible before we drop him into our bottomless pit. Something ignited down below. So... We get a fire. Okay, we can light the- Yeah, let me light the trailer on fire. Give me more fire. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, burn. <laughs> okay, we are lighting him on fire. I didn't think this game would let me get that dark, but I am very thrilled it did. Not only are we dropping every creature on earth into a bottomless pit, we are setting the world ablaze. Hmm. In a way, I'm kind of sad that things are getting burned alive before dropping endlessly. 
because it's more fun to think of them just falling forever. But oh well, there's only so much we can do as a simple little hole in the desert. Okay, I think you see the problem. I didn't realize that tree wasn't on fire because the bird is on fire and I didn't really notice that. So now that that's done, we should be able to get something bigger. Okay, we can dismantle mountains themselves at this point. We have the power of a landscaping tool. So we'll go ahead and need some big old boulders, throw them down there. I don't know who gave us this power, but it's way too much power for one person to have. All right, now that that's done, we can eat the trees hole and then the helpful bird, get in my hole. Great delivery. Where's all the burn marks? They were on fire for like 45 minutes before they fell. Ooh, we earned a beach day. We've been working so hard we get a vacation. We're gonna start by picking up garbage. Never leave garbage at the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise the hole has to come and clean it up. Fireworks? Yeah, go ahead and light that or I'll eat it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and take that. And I'll take that one too. And then I'll take this one too. Who's spitting these out? Who has infinite fireworks to spend? Uh, okay. Okay, so when I go close to him, he lights the firework. And then it leaves. It scares the birds. Okay, there's something to it. It's got to scare the birds. So it goes off, the birds get scared, then what do the birds do? What do the birds need to do? Nothing, apparently. Okay, so I think what we gotta do is maybe eat a firework and then put it inside of us. Does that make sense? So it's lit, get in there, and then something happens down below. We may, oh, we fire fireworks upwards. I get it. So what it's saying is we got to uh, light a bird. We got to go like that. And then we murder the birds with an explosion. No, nope, we just put them inside of us. And then we get to go to a bigger view because what is that thing? Maybe we need to launch a firework at that. In fact, I think that's exactly what we need to do. So firework is lit. We'll bring it way over here. And we're going to knock them off from here. Kablamo! Oh, they're close. The anticipation is getting to me. And kablamo, they fall to their death. One more time. Okay, we're ready to do this. Up she goes and splat. There we go. I didn't want to put the hole below because I wanted to land on the pavement first. You know, because they're going to have plenty of falling after this anyway. I'm pretty sure this is literally a bottomless pit. It's also now a raging inferno. Uh, so I'm going to need to borrow your car for a bit. And uh, it's going to have to make its way through a rain of popcorn to get to the bottom. Uh, but while we're at it, you can, you can go, uh, you know, check on your car. Might need a detail. And we're launching big fireworks because we're full of an entire fireworks stand and its employee. And nothing of value was lost here on this day. Or at least we're giving everyone lots of friends to play with. Ooh, we get some live victims this time. They can try and get away and they're itty bitty and small. I'll take their children before I take them. Where do you think you're going? Get in my hole. Yeah, there we go. Go join your children. This one's a little bit tricky because they're so wiggly. Get in there. And the hole's getting so big they can't get away. Even the big ones now. If we get you to tip right. No? Oh, there we go. I knew you could do it. You just gotta believe in yourself. Oh, Sleeping Beauty here is in trouble. Oh, that sprinkler could have been used for something. That's okay. We got a chameleon. Get in my hole. Now, what do we do about him? I know we could put him in the hole, but it'd be more fun to like, I don't know, use this water to electrocute him or something. I think if we take the fan away, he's gonna get warm and wake up. I can wiggle this stuff to try and knock some of this stuff down, but I'm not big enough to take it yet. So maybe we'll just see if we can just get him. I kind of want him to wake up Uh, before. Well, <laughs> never mind. I thought it'd be more fun if he wake, woke up and got scared, but we just dropped him in the hole anyway. I think we were probably big enough to knock. Nope. So we'll go ahead and take the fan and his garbage. You can't get sucked into a hole without taking your garbage with you. And this doesn't make sense otherwise. And his 16 oven mitts he had sitting on a rack. And then we can just take his other garbage pile. One big garbage pile for one big garbage man. We'll send his whole 2B house down on top of him. Now we have safety raccoon on the moped. I want to try and knock his stupid little hat off. There we go. Yeah, get down on the ground. You're on my level now. That's a bad place to be. Also, oh, I almost had that chicken stuck. All right, raccoon, you had a good run. This one's getting big quickly. Okay, if that pulls down, it's going to activate this raccoon. And suddenly I am buying a catapult, which I'm thrilled about, and some energy drinks. So the catapult launches stuff upwards. And then there's other stuff in it. It's like a treasure hunt. You never know what we're going to get. Oh, except this time we're going to get a chicken. <laughs> get back down there. We'll just give things a taste of freedom before putting them right back in the hole. Uh, the chicken came back again. They're a little bit slower to land this time, which is pretty annoying. So get back in there and go again. Oh, it's a box this time. Oh, I see. In the upper left, it shows me what we're about to eject. So I'm assuming we need something to hit the uh, bell or something. There's a box coming out next. Heads up. Then, um, okay, <laughs> watermelon it is. Maybe we just need to eject the right thing out. No, we seem to be left to chickens. But there is a, a platform over here we probably got to use. Oh, I think I get it already. So we got to launch a chicken up. He'll float, but we make this and it's going to drop that. And then we let the chicken go into whatever that place is. And this guy is just firing eggs out randomly. So we'll go ahead and uh, catch one of those. 
and we'll launch it out and maybe a chicken comes out of there that's how it works in real life at least oh okay uh eggs galore this yeah this will just make us bigger i don't know what just happened but we're now <laughs> putting handfuls of eggs inside of us i don't know what's happening but i'm just gonna let it go so by this point we can probably put the fence and the entire uh telescope in there uh it'd be fun to eject this back out but uh i don't know if we have that luxury right now get in there was that so hard okay i'm also gonna eat your truck nope i'm not i'm gonna eat your yard furniture there we go got the truck pretty soon we'll get the whole bar not sure who's in there but i don't care i don't discriminate i'm an equal opportunity genocider we've arrived at the land of the bees never a finer place existed so there's gonna be lots of honey in our hole there's gonna be pine cones we'll be able to grow an entire forest out of this thing pretty soon just think of all the health benefits we're getting from all that honey the frog here does seem to want something it's calling for something so we'll eventually give it something I'm just not entirely sure what it is it wants yet. Oh, we can eject stuff. We want a honeycomb? There you go. Yeah, there you go. The honeycomb will suck you down. Should have seen that one coming. That's a pretty obvious play. Oh, we're going to break the beehives, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, what a stupid frog. You think he'd learn his lesson. Can you eat the bee? Sure can. Get down there. I'm exploiting this frog for all he's worth. Really, this is my accomplice at this point. He's going to sit here eating whatever I tell him to eat. And we're going to eat everything. We're not going to stop at nothing. All right, well, we, I felt like we got this area pretty well under control. What else do we get? <laughs> Look at this idiot. Yeah, I would save you, but I'd rather just leave you hanging there until you realize what it is you did wrong. Think about how you put yourself in this position and how you could have avoided that because now you're about to be murdered in a horrible way. But we'll also take some bees. Can I spit bees at this guy? Oh, well, whatever then. That's fine. We'll just feed the bees to the frog. Oh, this frog's uh, gone rogue. He's doing it on his own at this point. Okay, you're gonna get that. So this guy's here just watching the show. Don't worry, I'll catch you with my bottomless hole. What happens if we lick him? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> down he goes. And that's fine by me. All right, then, well, at least we'll have uh, a place to stay. I think food and shelter is a basic human right, even for a wildly incompetent beekeeper with needle legs. This level's called cat soup. Oh, there's a cockroach in there. Yeah, we gotta get the cockroach out so we can run amok and destroy things. Oh, never mind. I wanted it to get loose, not, well, whatever, that's fine, too. We can't have everything under our control. Sometimes you just gotta let it be. You just sort of put a situation out there and let it unfold as nature intended. Like putting this thing inside of us. They, they don't care. They're a chef. They're over life. Ooh, we have hot soup. That's gotta be worth something. Okay, what do we do with the hot soup? That goes down. That fills up that, uh, which opens that. This is perfectly standard in any good chef's kitchen. Oh, so the salt can pour in our whole... Is this acid? Want some acid? There you go. Good acid. Oh, maybe we need like... Oh, here's what you gotta do. You gotta do it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you can have some too if you want. Oh, it ruins it. Well, here you go. Eat some of that. I can just make this bird endlessly throw up and I would <laughs> have no qualms with that. Okay, pepper. Good. The cockroach is gonna chase it around. Do you want to eat a co No, don't eat my soup. I forgot about that already. All right, well, yeah. Good cockroach. Get in the hole. Okay, so I can't go near the bird. I can't go near the cockroach. What I can do is take some pepper. He's gonna come try and get me, but he's very slow. And equally as stupid so yep big circle there i feel like the bird in reality would just straight up eat him okay it's nice and yellow now give me that and now it's a happy bird am i right oh the cockroach is really taking over out here it's gonna be a cockroach hole after this what do they pop like popcorn when you add fire i'd ask you in the comments but i don't want to know the answer because someone's probably legitimately tried that and i'd rather not think about that so we're just gonna keep putting things in our hole there's some big stuff back here there's tree they're starting to hide stuff on me now Oh, they think they get away from me. It's not the first time I've tried to fill myself up to capacity. It won't be the last. Now, big boy, the whole restaurant. Ooh, entire buildings at this point. Yeah, get in there. These people down there need a place to stay. I'm responsible for their well-being. Nothing says I care like landing a 35-story building on their head. Which gives us rank 10. So we win the universe. And most certainly we've accomplished something here today. We murdered like 85 people. 